Shalom, saints. This is Providence Anna K. Wade, and I am from the line of Judah Prophetic Ministry. I am only going to be here for a few um, hours on tonight. We are under a very dynamic team that is entitled uh, um, the Rams. We're going to learn about the Rams. We're going to dis demystify Rams. My team tonight is entitled Release from Demonic Rams. And, and many of us don't understand the kind of rams and dimension that we have to deal with. So I'm going to break it down to you on tonight. And many of you are going to be picking up something new uh, as you're, you're embarking upon this new season going into 2020. Uh, you cannot go with the old deb debris of the past. You want something new. You want something tangible you want it to be magnanimous you're crying and you're pacing and asking god when it's going to be my time to step into this new season so i want to be very brief with you on tonight as you and i go together in this new season i want god to illuminate it hallelujah an undisturbed season a season where many of us have suffered so long and hard and you want to make sure that you enjoy the season as much as you enjoy the suffering I believe that God wants to do this in you and he wants to do this in me. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we're going to ask the Holy Spirit presence right now. In the name of Jesus, I want us to understand that nothing can happen in the earth realm without God's divine presence, God's divine governance. And if we, you're only setting yourself up when you just go to do things on your own without inviting the presence of the Lord. In his presence, there's fullness of joy. There's a lot of things that comes up and us when we go into things and God is there. And that's why in Exodus and in, in um, um, Moses cry out to God and say, you know what? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to venture in doing stuff on my own. I need your glory. I need your presence to go with me. Hallelujah. How many of you need the presence of the Lord? Hallelujah. So in order for us to uh, effectively go into this realm and dimension, we need the presence of God with us to make us victorious. There's so many enemies. There's so many things that are seen on and unseen that oftentimes come up on us as God's children. And it's all because we venture to go out and, 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 and do things on our own and not inviting the presence of the Lord. So tonight, I'm under a very dynamic team. As you know, it is called Release from Rams. Release from Rams. Someone is saying, your volume is low. I don't know about, okay. I hope you can hear me much louder now. Release from Ram. Release from Ram. Release from Rams. So at this time, we're going to invite the Ruach. Father, we want to thank you. Glory and honor be unto your name. To the King immortal, the King invisible, to the ever wise God, be glory, honor, and dominion. Father, we want to thank you for the grace of God, the glory of God, the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, oh yes, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for the new shifting the paradigmic shifting. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that we're going to be so endowed with the good things that you're getting ready to do, that we're going to let go of the old mara, the bitterness, the derbies of the past, and walk in synchronization to what you're doing in this new season. And so, Holy Spirit, uh, hallelujah, we invite you to come. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Uh, we're inviting the Holy Spirit, <laughs> hallelujah, to come in the name of Jesus. And so when he comes, everything is going to be scattered and battered. 
Come on, somebody, in the name of Jesus. So we'll let us go right into the team on tonight. We're on the prophetic team that is entitled uh, Release from Rems. And how many of you know that there are so many Rems? We have atmospheric Rem, we have the Rems of the heavens, we have multi dimensional Rems, we have the Rems of the universe, we have psychic Rems and dimension, we have physical realms, there are space, there are galactic realms, there are all kinds of realms. So if you and I have been taken custody in any one of these demonic realms and dimension, you will find out that your humanity is incarcerated into a spiritual realm that maybe you cannot maneuver yourself. You know that God called you to do some great things. You have all that it takes to fulfill this great mandate that God has called you but something about you whether it's your virtue or some part of your humanity has been captivated has been held hostage in our realm so we need that realm to be destroyed we need realm busting prior we need that realm to shift so that all of you can come into the synchronicity synchronization of what God has called you to do so you don't have to spend your life going around in circles not understanding what exactly is it that I am called to do in the prophetic name of Jesus. I know many of you, like myself, have spent years going around in circles. You tried this and you tried that. It felt good at the time. Hallelujah. You lost so many times in that era of your life. You were going around thinking that this is good. It feel good. I know that this may be what God is saying. All of a sudden, you find out that you have all grown that stage and what used to feel good and what used to taste good and what used to look good to you is no longer feeling good, no longer looking good, no longer tasting good. The reason for that is because you are now, hallelujah, mature and developed, you have gone to another level by fire, by thunder, and the Holy Spirit wants me to tell you tonight, because your level has changed, you also need to understand the new levels, the new realm that you have been catapulted and accelerated in, so you will know how to maneuver yourself into this new realm. So I am here to help you demystify realms and get a proper understanding, hallelujah, when you are incarcerated in a spiritual realm that is unproductive, you are locked down in that realm, you cry, you pace the floor, you ask God questions, and you're still not getting any answer. I am here to tell you that God is about to burst that realm, but he has to give you an understanding that this realm can also be be demonic. There are different kinds of realms. There are good realms and there are bad realms. So tonight we're going to take on the first one, which is the bad realm. And we are classifying this bad realm as a demonic realm that many of us can identify that we have been taken into captivity to these demonic realms. Wanna do, can't do. Wanna go, can't go. Rikabo Shatai. Some of you need to understand that there are various parts of demonic realms that we're going to identify tonight that when you are incarcerated by these realms, you begin to behave like whatever it is that has incarcerated you. Say, for example, the madman at Gethsemane. He was taken in the realm of insanity. And because he was taken in the realm of insanity, he was also behaving. Hallelujah, like those insane things. He began to cut himself. He began to do all kind of thing. Hallelujah, hallelujah to himself because he was not only taken by the entity that incarcerated him, but he was also taken in their realms, in their dimension. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. So we want to break this realm of ash so that we can go up and, and spread out. Hallelujah. Into what God has called us to do. Not being confined. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To these kind of system and structure that are in the demonic realm. Am I, am I, are you understanding me? So we're going to go to a few biblical um, verse. And we're going to get a better understanding of what this spiritual realm is. So the Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 1. Huh, that in the beginning God created the heaven. The heaven is a realm. Yes. And God created the earth. The earth is also a realm. This was not just the earth and the skies. God created the heaven in um, the heavens in the biblical name for the spiritual world that exists in parallel to the physical world. God created galaxies, stratosphere, hemisphere, interdimensional realms. Uh, God created the universe. We can only see through these three dimension of the physical space plus time as we assume that in all this that it exists. So there are spiritual dimension consists of many more dimension of reality beyond what we can see. We cannot see some of us into the spiritual world due to the effect of sin. Now before Adam fell, Adam had that ability to not only live in the Shekinah glory of God, but Adam had the ability to sense things he flow from a different acoustic of the prophetic river of God. It was so dynamic that God would enjoy staying in the company of Adam. God will come down in the cool of the day and just be chit-chatting in with Adam and tell Adam all that is on his mind because Adam was not in the tainted state he was in the Shekinah glory of God. The Shekinah glory embodied him. The archie of Adam was, was endowed with the Shekinah glory. But after sin, Adam didn't have that privilege. Sin separated him from the Lord. So because of that, many of us cannot begin to even see in that realms and dimension. Some of us have spiritual gifts, yes, that allow us to see in realms and dimension. To understand this, one have to read the Bible and see how God begin to demystify multidimensional things and what the dimension spiritually is consist of praise the name of jesus now with that i want to lead us into this kind of understanding that when we are taken into a realm and a dimension be it good or bad whatever is in that realm and dimension begin to affect us if we are taken in the realm of sickness we are we are called sick and i noticed something very profound in the scripture hallelujah um, um, uh, let us demystify this, 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 this concept. Now, there are peoples in the Bible, biblical character, that they were basically addressed by the realm that they were in. The madman at Gethsemane, none of us know his name. His name was not recorded in the Bible. He was called the madman by, at Gethsemane because of the realm that he was taken captive by. The woman with the issue of blood, her name was not called. She was just classified as the woman with the issue you of blood so it is imperative that whatever realm and dimension has taken us captive hallelujah we begin to destroy them so we will not be identified with those realms are you hearing me praise the name of jesus so god has sent me here tonight to tell you that there is a parallel in spiritual authority and the system of god that exists in the spiritual realm that is frequently extracted or we can interact with this realm when we are endowed with the spirit of God because the Holy Spirit is the one that knows realms and dimension. Let me give you a basic understanding of what I am saying. Turn your Bible with me to the book of Genesis chapter 1. 
And I'm reading from the, the new English version of Genesis chapter 1. We're talking about realms. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the beginning, this is the work of the Ruach Kodesh. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. He said, in the beginning, God created the heavens, which is a realm. The earth, which is a realm. Now, the earth was formless. That mean it was void. That mean nothing live of, of life was in it. So what God did to this empty and formless void creation that was filled with darkness over the surface of the deep, the Lord allowed the spirit, the Ruach, who is the specialist in realms and dimension, extracting things out of the unknown, manifesting them into the known. That's the Holy Spirit. Even with us believers, the Holy Spirit loves to bring to our mind the things spoken by God because he's also there and is here with us. The Paracletus, who is the standby, who is the helper. So God said, let there be light in the formless void empty humanity. And there was. God was bringing the dimension and the realms of light into the earth realm that was void and darkness had covered the, the, the great. Makabo shatter. Then God look on and says, this is light and I'm going to separate dimension. I'm going to separate realms. I'm going to separate day realm from night realm. I'm going to call the day realm day and the night is going to be Call night. The day realm has more light that is differentiated from the night realm. God called the light day, Makabosha, and the darkness, he called it night, and the evening and the morning was the first day. Then Genesis chapter 1 verse 6 says, And God said, let there be a vault between water. We're talking about realm now. So God, God started with the light realm and the darkness realm. Then he moved into the earth and he, he created a vault between water to separate waters from waters. So God made the vault that separate water from the one above, from the one beneath. Then God began to say, this dimension is called sky and the one below is a different one come on somebody and God said let the water under the sky be gathered in one place and let the dry ground appear after God made the realm of the sky he was dealing with the dry ground and he was dealing with various things in the earth and God see that all that is he produces was good and God said but this is not enough for what I have in my mind with a pictorial view of how I need my paradise to look. So God began to go into the vegetation realm and he began to go in the plant realm and he began to go in the fruit bearing realm of trees and fruits and seed according to their kinds. Shall we bless the name of Yahushua? But what I get to understand is that many of us don't really understand that there are dimensions and there are realms in the earth hallelujah that can be stuck in your destiny that can help you in what I call a spiritual confinement a spiritual confinement I use the madman at Gethsemane as a perfect example that when you are taken into a territory into a region when you're taken captive by dark powers Kusaka, then you begin to operate in their realms. Hallelujah. Are you understanding me in the prophetic name of Jesus? Hallelujah. In the prophetic name of Jesus. Can we go? Can we go deeper in the name of Jesus? Amen. And so let, 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 let us go deeper. So when you're taken, some of you are taken in sickness realm, poverty realm, 
all kinds of realm, spiritual realm. They are governing authority of evil powers that watch over that realm and watch over that dimension. And that is why God is calling us to live a particular life because you get to understand that Satan kingdom is so organized. It is regimented. When he comes against you, he comes organized. He, he has been watching, monitoring you. There are system and structure that their kingdom is built upon. So when you're taken into a demonic realm, whether it's in these various locations that I'm going to call, Hallelujah. You get to understand if you're taken in a realm of hostile, hallelujah, a conflict, you start to act hostile. If you're taken in a realm of sickness, you become sick. If you're taken in a realm of poverty, you become poor. If you're taken in a realm of, of, of unproductivity, stagnation, retrogression, whatever realm you are taken into, that's what you are producing. As a result of that realm, I hope you're understanding me so far. In the prophetic name of Jesus, we want to look at what the dictionary um, describe a realm, a particular realm I want to look at, and that is a realm that is called the cosmic realm. And that is why we have to just respect God as being so not only meticulous, wise, but is ever so faithful. God knew that it was not good for us to be intermingling with stuff up in the cosmic realm so much. So God separated realm. He has given us a realm to live in. And we can discover other realm, but God give us this realm as our place of habitation. So the cosmic realm is a realm that is a stellar realm with the, with the track as a ring around a planet and it is a low gravity environment so driver must um, 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 keep up their speed and stuff like that. Listen, why do you think astronomers and astronaut goes to this realm to discover if can we live in this realm if we have a catastrophical um, 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 occurrence in the earth realm? Will these realm be conducive for us to live? Um, will can life force, hallelujah, continue to live in this realm and such alike? So, hallelujah, there are realms to be discovered. We just learned about the cosmic realm. We have cosmic realm, we have a spiritual realm, we have all kinds of realms and dimension. Now many of you, based on what the Holy Spirit has told me, has been taken into one realm or another. You are maybe in a realm of stagnation. You may be in a realm where everybody turn against you because you have a, a realm of hatred over you. Some people call it a, 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 a whore or something, but it's a realm. There's a difference between that aura that is over you than a realm. Hallelujah. Some of you find out that whatever you do, it's failing. I'm in the realm of failure. I need a new season. I need God to break me out of this, this place that I'm in. I need a paradigmic shift. I can't continue in this realm. I cannot. And so God has sent me tonight to demystify realms. Hallelujah. So that we will understand. And God is going to be delivering many of us out of realms on tonight that are diabolic and that are demonic. What does the us? Oxford Dictionary describe a realm to be. A realm is known as our archy. Yes. A realm is also known as a kingdom. A realm is also known as a kingdom. What does a realm mean? Knowing this phrase in, the, in, in realm is very important. We can be, um, many times people use when they're um, making a statement, realm, uh, like in a metaphorical sense. And realms 
is very serious to, we need to understand it some of us are taken into realms in our dreams that's how we know that there are realms that we operate at different time when it's when it, when you're sleeping you're taken into the realms of dreams the realms of revelation the realms of traveling into region and different sphere our domain within that place that you're in sometimes you're taken into realms of your past sometimes you're taken into realms of your future so God want us tonight to know that there is a breaker anointing that is coming upon you that whatever realm you are possible taking in that is taking you hostage and you want to come out of that realm because you know this is not where I belong there is a possibility that you can be in a realm where you have of abduction people of all kind of delusion and um, 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 disassociated um identity because they are taken in that realm schizophrenic realm all kinds of realms are bombarding us want to take us captive god want us to be released for those from those realms into the realm that he has created us to be so any other realm that has spiritually attached itself unto you you are not only living in the realm but you have received a false inheritance makabo shadadabahaya when the madman of getser and senaret was delivered from the spirit of insanity he was also catapult out of their realm what was the realm of the spirit of insanity the realm of the spirit of insanity was that the madman of getser and senaret was sitting among the dead he was where the rotten flesh of dead people hallelujah are he was beside the grave beside the tomb cutting himself can you raise a prayer point and say oh lord my god any realm that i am taking captive in recabo shatter in the demonic realm i ask that you will release me by your power by your anointing in the name of jesus can we go deeper sakura. we have demystified oh god make realms and dimension the earth realm the heavenly realms god has making the intergalactic realm god has made the galactic realm the interdimensional realm god has made the underworld and that's why when god gave jesus authority he did not give him over the earth realm only he gave him authority in every realm and dimension and jesus says i have power in heavenly realms i have power on the earth realms and i have power under the earth so any realm that you put me in i am a lord over that realm makabo shakuriya bahaya makabo shanda so god says tonight there are realms that demonic kingdom delegated authority of the power of darkness has captivated many of you you're in a realm of mind attack you're in a realm of sadness you're in a realm of depression you're in a realm of deorganization i want you to lift your prior point in the prophetic name of jesus and begin to cry unto the lord tell the lord to do a thorough investigation of your life and any power of the demonic realm of darkness that has established the kingdom of darkness and realm in your life be it spiritual be it physical be it financial emotional ministerial relational economical whatever realm that is not of god you need the lord to break you out in the prophetic name of jesus the bible says in the book of revelation that when john the revelator was in the oil of Patmos for the world though he was in the earth realm he tapped into the heavenly realms he 
begin to see things that were happening in the heavenly realms, shall we praise the name of God? And John says in Revelation chapter 5 that he saw a book he was describing from a pictorial perspective what he saw in the heavenly realm. He said, I saw a book that had a scroll on it that no one can unlock it. Rikabosha and I, John, wept bitterly because when I look in the heaven realm, no one. When I look in the earth realm, no one. When I look under the earth, there was none. And John says, I begin to weep. But one of the elders said, weep not kalobosha kalabaha because one has prevail to open the scroll and to lose the seal thereof. He is from the lion of the tribe of Judah. He has prevailed to open the scroll. So I'm here tonight to agree with God that whatever ram makabo shatarabaha, when God wants to deliver you, he did not just come and give you the promise of salvation. He had to do a translation. He had to translate you from the kingdom of darkness and its realm into the marvelous kingdom of God. Because God did not want you to operate in that realm anymore. Can I prophesy? There is a realm of glory that is getting ready to come upon God's children. But we need God to translate us to break us out in the precious name of Yahushua Amashiah out of any realm that we are taken captive in. Praise the name of Jesus. Some of us have been taken captive in witchcraft realms, witchcraft coven. In the coven, they put an headache on you from their realms and dimensions. So in your realm, you start to feel what was projected on you. Shakarabaku sata. You get to understand that God's word is powerful. It is a it is a discerner of the heart and the intent of the, the heart. God can cut you free from any realms that you are taken captive when you understand the power of God and the power of the word and the mechanics of the spiritual realm. You will refuse to be abducted, refuse to stay in any realm that is not conducive for your destiny's destination. Can I prophesy? Rikabo Shanda, can you lift your hands and tell the devil that I am operating from the realm of God. So any realm that you have attached to me, any realm that you have engaged me in, be it spiritually or physically, today is the day of deliverance. I use the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and I begin to sever myself from demonic realm. Rikabo Shakuria Bahaya. In the name of Jesus, my God, my God. So there are many things that we need to learn about realms. Hallelujah. And one of the things I want to say to you that when Jesus come on the scene, he comes as a liberator. Anything that is currently in your life that is not fit for his kingdom is going to crush it, is going to destroy it. He will not leave you until what is in your life is adjusting to what he has originally planned for your life in the prophetic name of Jesus. In one of my previous broadcasts, I begin to tell us that there are realms and system of the world that you and I can be taken captive into in the mighty name of Jesus and there is a war over us because Rem also denotes a kingdom, a, a, a regimented authority, a place, a power, a place where rulers determine who goes in and who goes out. So whatever Rem that you are incarcerated in, the spirit of the Lord wants to move you out out of the ram. It's time for your freedom. It's time to walk as a blood washed, redeemed child of God. It's time to be synchronized, sync 
participated with the government of heaven, Makaboshata, not with the realm of the destroyer, Kushai. Some of you are so incarcerated in the realm of darkness that you cannot hear the voice of God. You used to hear God's voice, but all of a sudden, a realm of deafness has come over you, a realm of undecisiveness, a realm of confusion, Makarebohoshata. God is here to expose that realm. If what I am saying, hallelujah, is in parallel with some of the things that you're going through, there is enough anointing upon this line, Rabakusa, to break you free out of that realm in the prophetic name of Jesus. Our Father, hallelujah, he operate from the, the realm of eternity. He operate from the realm of eternity. He makes time, but is not subjected to time. Praise the name of Jesus. And so tonight, Rabba Shaka, we can also see another biblical character by the name of Paul. When he was on the road to Damascus, Jesus appeared in it to him and and this appearance that God made to him caused him to cry aloud all all those that were around him see what was going on but he was in a realm all by himself praise the name of Jesus oh yes so many of you are taken into a realm and only you know what you're fighting a realm has entered a realm that you're fighting things that you can't even identify. Some of them are paranormal realms. Those realms has attached themselves to you. Those realms are, are living in your humanity. Those realms can exist with entities of darkness that has conspired to take your humanity by fire by force. If you're experiencing confusion today, God is going to bring Break that clause of your kushai, and you are going to come into the realm where the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, the high priest after the order of Melchizedek, will locate you in the prophetic name of Jesus. God wants to open up your eyes for you to say, you know why you're fighting is because you do not belong in that realm. Do you know why you're fighting? because something is attaching itself to you that is not a part of your humanity. Do you know what you're fighting? Makabo shata. Something has entered. But there's an anointing from the most I got to break you out of that realm. You must come out of any realm that has attached itself to you so that you can fulfill your destiny in the pro prophetic name of Jesus hallelujah before we before before we go into the realm busting prior that's why I don't want to be too long tonight so I want you to talk to me I want you to respond to my kushai there is a volume of prayer that is needed. Uh, oh yes, there is realms and dimension that are on, uh, that are sealed that we need these seals to be broken so that we can understand uh, how to get ourselves out of these realms. Oh yes, we need to understand that there is a prerequisite to operate in the glory realm. And if you are abducted by all these realms and unclean spirits that are polluting your life, and polluting everything, causing you not to be effective, causing you to be more depressed and oppressed. God has sent me to pronounce the release. Can I talk to you tonight? This broadcast is geared at dealing with the non-human entities and all these components that are false inheritance, that are not the inheritance that you receive in your Ushua. When God called you into the kingdom, he called you to give you an inheritance. Hallelujah. He called you among them that is sanctified. So we want to explore ways to get these things 
cast off us so we can no longer be captured by these realms. I feel the Holy Ghost. You need to operate in your heavenly jurisdiction, your heavenly jurisdiction, that place that you were called to reign. So anything that is on you, that is superimposing themselves on you, causing you not to be what God called you to be. Tonight is the night. Rikabo Shata. Do you identify what I'm saying? Are you captured by a realm? A realm of retrogression. A realm of stagnation. A realm that causes you to live below your, your divine privilege. A realm and a dimension that makes you feel like you're a child of a lesser God. Are you in a realm where you see other people, hallelujah, just come behind you and they have, hallelujah, gone ahead of you and you're still stuck in that realm? Are you in a realm where you're sneaking? and judge are you in a realm where entities of darkness are moving in and out of you are you in a realm where you're a box in a corner are you in a realm of confusion my god in zion are you a realm where every day you get up your life is an inferno of hell there are wars and demonic hallelujah meddling of interdimensional entities put upon you by witches and wizards are you in a realm where all the event of your life just seem impossible huh? are you in a realm where you're being harassed if you sit down you're harassed if you stand up you're harassed are you in a realm where you are confronted and derailed by all kinds of spirit Oh, Rabbi Shaka. And you said, God, I know you call me. I know you love me. But God, these things are entering to me. I need to be delivered if you're one of the ones that I'm talking about. The first approach is to be delivered. You need deliverance by fire. Can I prophesy? Can you write that I need deliverance by fire? I'm in America, but I am incarcerated in a realm in Nigeria. I am at somebody's coven, I'm at somebody's altar. Rabba kushaka rebeko sata ilo boroko soto roboko soto ria. I'm married, but I'm incarcerated with an adulterous relationship that I used to have, and the spirits and the entity keep visiting me. I'm in this realm where everything is attacking me. Makala boroshaka, don't unknown to me. I can't even. I begin to understand understand what these things are but all I know there are things that are engaging me from another ram Makabo Shata rams of, of, of all these wickedness I need to engage Yahushua Amashiah in my realm in my region so he can break my captivity come on somebody that I will not be held in bondage in these kind of rams in the name of Jesus so we want to go further to identify the injustice that can be done to our humanity when we are taken into these diabolical realms and their frequencies and vibration is rotating in us some of us are taken into realms of where the devil has put all kind of cloaking devices on us so once upon a time you used to shine but all of a sudden you have become dull insignificant irre irrelevant because in the realm that you are taken captive a cloaking device has been put over you someone may say prophetess what is a cloaking what is a cloaking device hallelujah so let me break it down to you and tell you what a cloaking device is so you can understand hallelujah what a cloaking device is some cloaking devices when it is put on you in the spiritual realm it is invisible you have visible cloaking devices and invisible cloaking devices in the demonic realm a cloaking device is an item hypothetical or fictional sea technology that can cause an object such as a spaceship or individual to be particularly or wholly invisible to a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. However, other over the entire spectrum, a cloaking cloak object scatter more than uncloak object. Come on, did you hear that? A cloaking unseen 
cloaking device scatter more than the one that you the, the uncloaking one so in the demonic realm i have had entities that try to put cloaking on me another name for spiritual cloaking that they can use on you when you're captured in their realm is called um, um, spiritual garment some of you are garment of death garment of sickness garment of poverty all kind of cloaking devices and cloaking mechanism that is put on you macabre shutter so if you used to shine in the glory of god and all of a sudden you can't even say amen because something has cloaked you something has hallelujah derailed you from where you used to be and you you're fighting to come up but you can't come up because the cloaking device is stronger than you today god has sent me that if you're in the realm where they have cloaked you Rebaba Shandan, you're not shining according to Isaiah 61 and 2. Arise and shine, for the glory has come, and the, the, the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen. When the light has come, light brings illumination, transformation. When you step into your house and you switch on the light, everything that is dark around you is illuminated. So when there is a cloaking device on you, no one can see you, like the video and share it in the prophetic name of Jesus, uh, the Son of God. Can we go deeper in, in tonight? Uh? And so many of you, my God, uh, the Lord said, be very wise in this season. Not everybody that comes around you wants you to be blessed. Some people want to put you in pits. Some people want to put you in dungeons. Some people cannot face you, so they have to go to their witchcraft practitioner to put a spell on you. And when that spell is activated, then you begin to live in that realm of that spell. Am I prophesying in the prophetic name of Jesus? Some people have you in the realm, the realm of poverty, the realm of poverty, the realm of unproductivity, the realms, the realms. Can somebody say, get me out of these realms? In the name of Jesus, I don't belong here. I have a mark of greatness. I have a mark of greatness. The seed of greatness is in me. Hallelujah. Get me out of this realm. In the prophetic name of Jesus, I'm allergic to this realm. Based on what I'm feeling, hallelujah, I don't belong here. So get me out out of this realm in the prophetic name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many of us, as I said before, we are taken in all kinds of realm. A coven. That is a realm of demonic activity. Your seal in their timeline. Your seal in their dimension and frequency. You can be taken into the planetary realm, the cosmological realm, the constellation realm, various part of the universe. You can be taken in the realm of your past. You can be also taken in the realm of the future to see some of the things that Abraham also saw when he was transported into the realm of the future to see what was going on. You can also be taken into a realm of death where every night, every time you close your eyes, you're seeing dead people. My aunt dead 15 years and she come to visit me. My father, I'm having a conversation with a dead man, a dead woman, because you have been transported into that realm. Holy Ghost, can you lift your hands tonight and say, oh God, I am in your court. Separate me from the realms, hallelujah, of darkness and translate me into your realm so that I can have an interface with the Father continuously. My life will not be a place that God come in and out, but I will be an habitation for the glory because after tonight, I will not be struggling between realm because I know the realm that I belong here. So anything that is a composite of my humanity that is fighting me, you need to let me go in the prophetic name of Jesus. 
when you're in a ram you're in bondage when you're in a ram that is not a kind of ram that god has created you to be you're taken in bondage you are associated with those demonic entity from that ram i declare to you today that you shall be realigned and reassigned god is gonna establish you he's gonna break the prison bar he's gonna break that demonic ram is gonna cut upon and accelerate you into the place that you belong some rams carry all kind of um prison things like chains and fetchers of iron how oh, many of you know that our god is the god with the anointing that outrank this kind of demonic confinement god is so powerful that he said i will break the bar in a sunder i will cut that bar and that fetchers of iron and i will liberate you you will never see another god after this kind i am the god that have the power of death and hell so even if the enemy is tracking you down with death spirit constantly from the abyss. I will cause the assignment of the devil over your life to fail. I will expunge every part of your humanity out of this realm and I will purify you with my blood and I will purify you with living water that gush out of the altar of God. And everything that they stole out of your humanity while you were incarcerated in that realm it is going to return to you by fire by force in jesus name now when we are going to do when we are going to do this realm deliverance we need to establish who we are and whose kingdom we belong to so that there will be no confusion so we are going to bring scriptures to the devil when we are going to go into that realm we are going to invoke warring angels to go into the different realms dimension that we are taking captive free Frequencies and everything that is contrary. We are going to invoke angels of God to begin to deliver us. Some of you, some, some very key component in your body has been interrupted. Ah, your hormone flow has been interrupted because these hostile things are coming into you in the name of Jesus. Equation and formulas that is encoded in you from the beginning of time has been interrupted and that's why you're sick your blood pressure is too high your blood pressure is too low your blood count all kinds of things are happening because your formulas and equation that you were make with god make you with a balance but as these rams come into you it begin to interrupt your life interrupt formulas in your body it begin to interrupt your frequencies am i prophesying in the name of Jesus you begin to feel like I'm retarded today I don't know I can't even get up out of my bed because your frequencies hallelujah and your, your, your who you are has been interrupted because of these realms hallelujah how do I know it's dangerous when a satanic realm is operating against you now I'm gonna give you a biblical account in the Genesis Six nine radio. These were angels of God that came out of heaven. Come on, these angels were consistently in the presence of the Lord day and night. And God sent these investigatory angel into the earth realm to carry out a divine assignment. The moment they stepped down into the earth realm, everything about them change what they originally came to do change because they come into a realm that was unholy and polluted they were not accustomed to this kind of realm so if that realm could impact angels so much 
How about you? When certain things come out in our society, like homosexuality and lesbianism, the first thing they begin to do is to sensitize us to that realm. You'll be watching an advert on, on the television, and all of a sudden you see a man kiss a man. So the moment you are sensitized to that realm, you're no longer going to withstood it. You're no longer be going to withstood it because it become a norm. God wants us to invite the realm of Jehovah, the frequency of Jehovah to overtake every realm that have subdued us and show us off balance, off divine frequency. We are not operating in the system of protocol. We are out of order, out of alignment. I feel the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. We want to engage our life back to God. We want to ask God to take preeminence. God, I don't want to die like a fool. God, I am in a realm. Entities, massive entities. Everything want a part of me. I'm like a chicken without feather. Avenge me, Lord. Everything coming to pick on me. Everything coming to drag me into their realm. Who am I talking to? Are you one of the ones that have been experiencing all these kinds of powers and energies want to abduct you and want to take you into their realm. Oh, Rabba Shakalabaha. What are you willing to do tonight to set your soul free from that realm? That you will no longer, hallelujah, be identified with that ram like the madman of Gethsemane who was identified with his ram. The woman with the issue of blood was identified with the ram. She was not even called by her name. I don't know what ram has been attacking you. I don't know what ram has been feeding you. I don't don't know what ram has been realigning your formula and equation that God has created you with. But out of Zion shall come deliverance of feel the Holy Ghost. The Alpha and Omega says, when he make all things, he make them good in this time. You're coming out of that depression ram. You're coming out of that sickness realm. You're coming out of the realm of injustice. The realm of poverty. The realm. The realm. The realm. The realm of unproductivity. The realm of broken heartedness. The realm of lost of power. Lost of authority. Lost of interest. Lost of glory. Lost of dignity. God wants to raid the realm of darkness. Halabo shakaya. I begin to prophesy that tonight you're going to come out of that realm. That realm of retrogression. That realm of only seeing your prophecies from afar but never living to see the manifest. Katu shakabaka shikorobokosia. Whatever has interrupt your frequency. Whatever has interrupt the right realm that God has called you to operate. It must be apprehended. Whatever power is behind the demonic realm that is causing you pain and restless night. God send me tonight. Rebeke talabaku shadabahaya. Holy Ghost, Makatu Shedebebe, Yorobosa, Rubushi Kandorosa, Ku, Mahaya. You have been persecuted by realms of destruction, realms that don't want you to sing your song and dance your dance. When last have you laughed yourself to sleep instead of crying? When last have you looked back and said, Look what the Lord has done? God, you just keep blessing me. I have uninterrupted blessing. Holy Ghost, when last have you got people who believe in your
your vision to agree with you. God said there is a ram that is be, has been intruding with your ram and it is a separate component of you and that is a demonic component. You are called for greatness. Greatness is in everything you do. You know you are great but there is a structure. There is a device. There is a power that wants to confine you into that ram. I'm here to tell you that God is going to break you out of that ram permanently. Holy Ghost, are you ready to break out of that ram? I said some of the ram that we're in cause us to be sick, cause us to be interrupted day and night. We're living in realms and dimension that we don't know how to operate. They have interrupted our frequency and vibration. Nakabosha, joy has eluded you. Breakthrough has eluded you. All you get up to do is warfare, injustice, makabo shatter, hatred, hallelujah, violence. But I'm here as an apostolic voice tonight to tell you God is trading the floor of the enemy. God is squeezing out the breath out of the devil and said, I have called them for a purpose. Get them out of your macabre shatter structure and sex system. Uh -huh. Holy Ghost, I feel God up in my cushion. Get them out of your portal and frequency. Uh -huh. I have called these people to be nation changer. I have called them to lift up the beggarly Holy Ghost uh, to keep them at a place of dominion. You cannot take their dignity, devil. You cannot take them. I am releasing my anointing. This is an anointing that I've kept. I have reserved this one. You thought you had the victory over my people. Holy Ghost, but I'm sending the anointing upon the eclos, the ecclesia in this end time and they are going to do the greater things because when I speak that greater they will do than what I did when I was in the earth realm I was not just talking Shaka, but now that they get the understanding that you have been projecting injecting a, a counterfeit climate a counterfeit realm in their life that has been suffocating tongue gating hijacking sabotaging Delaying and denying, manipulating and extracting from their humanity the things that I have preordained for them. God says it's over, devil, it's over. Makabo Shakaraba, because though the warfare has intensified, God has managed to do something very profound. The warfare has kept us on our knee. The warfare has been causing us to press in the presence of God. The warfare has caused us to become God chasers. The war fear Rabba Shakadabaha has been telling us that I'm not only here to destroy you but I'm here to bury you. The war fear are giving money of us a greater dimension of power, a greater dimension of anointing. The war fear is causing us to change things geographically, change things educationally, change things atmospherically. The war fear says God is causing us to change things. Hallelujah. Ministerially, things are changing in the physical realm. The warfare is causing us to have a voice over region and territory. The warfare is taking us off the enemy energy grid. The warfare is calling us to be supernatural like our father. The warfare is causing us to use our authority over kingdom and nation. Come on, somebody. The warfare is causing us to come out as kingdom people. Some of us who have been fearful when we hear about a storm, when we hear about the forces of nature rising up, we will sit down and only be feeding ourselves from information that comes from the meteorological, hallelujah, broadcasting network. But system and structure are changing. Because the ecclesia realize that they have a say in what happened in the earth. Because the Bible says that God does nothing in the earth except he reveal it to his prophet, his servant. Come on somebody. So because of the warfare, you are plunged into a place 
house and you understand that you need more power to stay in this realm. So God sent me tonight to say I am interrupting all demonic realm, kingdom, groupings of devils and frequencies. Can I prophesy? God sent me tonight to tell you whatever you disallow is disallowing. Whatever you cause to happen is going to allow it to happen. God says I'm disentangling and disengaging you from every God ungodly laws. God says it's time to come out. I am here to liberate you. It doesn't matter what your current situation is. You are called to break out of that confinement. God says everything you go through in this season is not just a test, but it's going to bring a testimony. Some of you will even pick up mantle in this time of processes and preparation, says the Holy Ghost. And so many of you are taking in rams. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody drag you into a ram that you don't need to be. And here are some of the rams we want to pull ourselves out of tonight. We want to pull ourselves out of geographical rams. What are geographical rams? Rams are geographical rams are like canoes, continent, uh, earth, mantle, fields, mountain, path, road, ritualistic site, tectonic plates. So, soils and trails oh yes you're in America but you're constantly dreaming that you're in another country because you may be taken captive in that ram a geographical ram has confined you you have an international mantle but you're subjecting to one geographical location because somebody tied you when Jesus wanted to use that coat in the book of St. Matthew he said you got to lose that coat because I have use for him so God sent me to lose you tonight whether you're tied in a geographical ram you want to go in and out but something has restricted you something has confined you something is sabotaging you something is prohibiting you from going out to fulfill what God has called you to do I prophesy a loosing I prophesy a loosing I prophesy mm. Hallelujah, a deliverance upon you tonight. To be loose mean to be set free. To be loose mean to be detached from everything that you're attached to. Is there anyone under the sound of my voice? You may be on a demonic security grid. But God says it's time for you to be loose. It's time for you to be detached. It's time for you to be loose. What you're wearing is so tight it's not fitting you. You need to be loose from that confinement to be to, to you from that confinement, that state of restraint. You need to be detached, says the Lord. Can we go deeper? I feel that God is getting ready to lose some of you from canoes, wherever they have planted you. You're constantly dreaming of water. Whatever continent you've been planted on, whatever crust of the earth that have you, it must vomit you out by fire. Vomit you out by thunder. Vomit you out. Be loosed. Be detached. Be detached, says God. Deboro shababa. He do shababa. I come by fire. I come by blood. I come by the anointing to loose you in the name of Jesus. It's your time to manifest. Creation is crying. Creation is travailing for the sons of God, the daughter of God, who get what they are called to do. The equipment, the endowment of God's power to operate as God operated by fire, by force in the earth realm. Don't you want creation to stop crying? The way you can get creation to stop crying is by taking your prophetic mantle. Be loose 
from this realm and operate in your now, operate in your season. Another realm you can be incarcerated in is the atmospheric realm. realm. So when there is a realm of, of turbulence wind, like the Iraqidon wind and different kind of rain, your life is blowing like the wind. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. You don't want to hear me tonight. God want to lose you from every wind, boisterous wind that has encapsulated you, whether it's the south wind, the east wind, the north wind, or the west wind. If you are tied to an atmospheric realm that is diabolic, be loosed in the name of Jesus. Some of you are tied to streams. You are tied to the biosphere, the psychosphere, the atmosphere. Ah, God want to break those realms and set you free. Some of you, they tie you to nature realm. Ah, uh, planetarian forces are attacking you. Your body feel like something strange is going through it. I feel God up in my cushion the base. You are experiencing genetic modification. Holy Ghost, nature's realm are attacking you. What are some of the nature's realm? Gravels, forest, rock, mine, flowers. Oh, Rabashata, things to do with the element. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. God wants to loose you from nature's realm, loose you from every place that they have tied you. Another realm that they may have tied you in is the water realm. Oh, God, you constantly dream that you're underwater. You're always drowning. You're always swimming. Oh, Rabashaka Bahaya. It's time to come out of that realm hallelujah into this realm oh bashaka it's time to get power and anointing to rule and to reign as sons of god in this realm what are the water realm the ocean the lakes the sea the rivers the pond the creek the waterfall body of water even in the planet and other planets that bring water whoever has captured you whoever has incarcerated you the hour has come for you to be loose i feel god up in my soul some of you have been taken into the realm of regional realm what are regional realm towns, cities, nation, district, municipalities. You are in regional realm. Oh, you're in America, but part of you is still in Africa. You're in America, but some part of you is in Grenada. You are in America. I know that that is your land of ethnicity. But whatever city citation, district and nation that you have been tied to, God says it's time for you to be loose. Some of you have been tied to a relationship. You're out of that marriage for two years, three months. You're still having images of what was. There is nothing in you that is agreeing with the construction of the now. And God says, it is time for you to be loose from that. Some of you are tied to the planet. Hallelujah. Planetary and powers such as Mercury, Venus, Pluto. All these planets, part of you is taken into these galactic realm and planetary structure. Some of you are taken by the forces of nature such as electromagnetic gravity, nuclear strong forces and all kind of forces. Some of you are taken captive in various industry in our society. God says it's time for your release. How do we get release? It's by simply doing what we are to do. Father, I recognize that I am taken into a realm. I recognize that there are powers that are fighting my existence. Powers that are prohibiting my manifestation. All these prophecies I have gotten. I'm going to be a great woman. I'm prophet of nation. Oh, I'm an I'm an apostolic philanthropist. I'm called to be a Cyrus of modern day. No, I'm an Esther, Rabaku, Sakur, yeah. So where is the anointing with the territory? So where is the power, God? Why am I not manifesting? I'm only receiving word, word.
word, 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 word. Where is the manifestation? Makabo Shandabai. In the prophetic name of Jesus, my God. And so we're going to start, I'm going to start my ram busting prayers very soon to get us out of all these ram. And some of the ram are form a quantum entanglement with you some of the realm are interfacing you day and night and that is why you feel so oppressed and depressed you feel like a stranger to your own self because the realms that God has given you the judicial right and jurisdictional authority you have been apprehended in another realm and not right for living out this realm who am I talking to to. Someone is sending me a note, prophetess. Pray for me. I need to be released from demonic realms. I need to operate in my true realms. Come on, somebody, in the name of Jesus. So we're going to make an appeal for ourselves. You can repeat the prior point after me. As we begin to Ask God to deliver us out of these realms, out of the crust of the earth, Rabba Shatta, that all our godly individual formulas, Holy Spirit, and equation will be given back to us in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to be long tonight, so come on, somebody. If you're in agreement with me and say, Providence, certain realms have been disturbing me. I can't always sleep at night. Rabba Bo Shadaba. I've been wondering what is going on. I have prayed. I have fast. I've utilized all my God-given authority. God, you know I have prayed until I'm weary, but there are some realms that have hold me captive. If you're one of the one type, you're speaking to me, woman of God. In the name of Jesus, Rekebo Shatta, when God reels Real to us is because he needs us to hallelujah begin to take the initiative and say you know what God trust me I have been in this realm of stagnation for a long time there must be something better than this I've been in this realm of unproductivity too long come on like the video and share it come on like the video and share it Rebecca Sata we are going to intercede now Brakasato Rabanda. I would like some of you to share this video. My ministry can be in a realm. My marriage can be in a realm. Ha, ah, I need to get it out of the supernatural realm. You're seeing a lot of good things for me. May the Lord anoint you to not only see them but to pray them down. I'm a prophesying. We have too much seer of good things, but you're not, hallelujah, being placed in a position where you literally get the things you see. And that is like shortchanging us. When God prophesies something over your life, he has the capacity and the ability to bring to pass the things that he has spoken. So we don't only want words. We want the manifestation of that which God has spoken by by power and by prophecies in the name of Jesus can we go now come on like the video I'm going to ask some of you share this video in your group get somebody else on the same grid let them come out of that realm we're going to start by acknowledging the Holy Ghost come on Father Father we're here we acknowledge you that you're the only realm buster you can boss realm you can boss powers and principalities over regions and nations you're the only one that can take us out of deep bondage and bring us into the realm that you have provided for us to be successful and productive in the name of Jesus. Father, this is an intensive list Rikabo, shut of the various kind of power and the various kind of realm that has taken us captive. We need to come out of this realm, Father, and we are here tonight because we know you are the liberator. You can deliver us from principalities and the heavenly power that is holding us in bondage in the prophetic name of Jesus. So here we're going to make our petition. Father in heaven, I come before you in the mighty name of Jesus. I understand that we are taken in spiritual confinement by ram 
rams, rams of darkness, geographical rams, such as the canoe, continent, earth, cross, macabre, shatter, earth, mantle, field, mountains, tectonics, plate, soil, trails, halebo, rabasaka, talaba, and anything else that we don't know that is a geographical ram that we have been confirmed find it constructed sabotage prohibited in this ram god bakabo shatter to the list we add that many of us has also been taken into atmospheric ram where we're on a roller coaster lord south wind north wind all the winds cham trail and atmospheric winds the jet stream and all kinds of winds have been blowing ash blowing ash Blowing as we ask for the release, not just from the rams, but also their spiritual imprisonment. Rikabo Shadabahai. We get to understand that some of us are taken into the water ram. Bakabo Shata, somebody bury us dear. The oceans are, are, are speaking over our lives. The rivers, the sea, the lake, the Greek, the ponds, all kind of water bodies and their entities are speaking over our lives and destiny. Lord, we ask to be released. We divorce these rams. We divorce these rams and the entities that comes with these rams. We ask that you will remove their restrictions and confinement in the prophetic name of Jesus we bring to you Lord regional realms that we are taking in confinement some of us are taken into geographical realms towns or villages or countries state nation districts municipalities or father in the name of Jesus we bring that to you Roboku Sakuria some of us are taken in the astronomical realm the galactic the gram, the intermultidimensional ram, every system and structure that is abnormal, that is a composite of our humanity. We bring it before the court. Rabaku Satare, Robobobo Shadabahai. The Bible says from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom suffer violence, and the violence take it by force. Anything that is taking us by force from these realms and dimension let there be a release of your power a release of your anointing in the name of jesus father some of us are taken by the animal kingdom people are using animals we are seeing them in our dreams oh god reptile animals amphibian insect kingdom aquatic kingdom oh rabashaka all kinds of entities are parading themselves in our dreams i feel the fire for though i walk in the flesh i know i run not against flesh and blood Halibo Shakuria for the weapons of my warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to Yahushu Amashiah to the pulling down of the stronghold I identify that they are intergalactic rams planetary rams demonic computers that have contained certain things about me God things held in the constellation my ministry is in a ram god ha 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 my marriage my family my children in triangular bondage i feel the kusha yede shadow rabas kata here i call for angels i call for the angels that you have equipped angels you mighty one that hear the bidding of the lord angels that are strategically assigned to me according to hebrews the bible says that angels are ministering spirit that are sent to them that are here of salvation god i ask that you begin to break up every ancient walls he caused by everything that confine restrict me ribo shakura some of you are in a realm of trees 
realm of trees? What are you talking about? Uh, hallelujah. You come from a bloodline that worship tree deity, sacred tree, evil tree, Rababa Sukuraha. And the tree marine is having an interface with you. Your body feels scratchy. You're allergic to everything. I call for the carpenter angels and the battle axe angel to cut down that tree, planetarian tree, every sacred tree that as you incarcerated in a tree ram fighting for your life all kind of allergies all kind of holy spirit holy spirit can we welcome him right now i feel god deborosha mighty god every one of us in the name of jesus that is in a demonic realm that has been constructed by ungodly spirit oh god we command that realm to collapse oh you can call that realm a timeline i command that realm to collapse 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 you ungodly realm collapse by fire come on somebody come on also your children may be in a realm oh yeah you know that god has calling your children for greatness or your child for greatness ah it's kingdom advanced level deliverance prayer we need the kingdom of god to have an interface with our children we need the king of king and his general mandate to be issued over our life we need the divine commissioning of god to be made manifested in our children that's the only way the devil will know who's we are we we pray that tonight God will release us from all these realms. Rabakusata, some of you are taken into realms in your community, physically and spiritually. There are certain kind of realms that when you go in those realms, it causes you to be sick, it causes you to be impoverished, it causes you to be oppressed, depressed. It's an hazardous realm. It may look good in the physical, but in the spirit, there are a lot of things about that realm that you don't know a prophesy that God will begin to release ram cleansing angels, angels of sanitization, angel in your community, angel in your geographic community, geographical location, territorial warfare angel, geographical angels, angels that is endued with the power to deliver you from demonic hazards. Angels that will deliver your property, your home, your business, your nation. Angels that will deliver your state. Angels that will say these realms is polluting the atmosphere of Jehovah. We need apostolic ecclesia. Hallelujah. Intercessors. I don't care if you're a prophet, pastor. You need to start pray. God release the king of glory in my realm. Let the king of glory have his way. We ask that the king of glory will direct his army to any satanic realm that have me under siege. Any demonic occupancy. Hallelujah in my realm, anything that is controlling my realm, anything that is controlling me in the demonic realm, I need to be free. Mm. Now I want you to know that God is about to get some glory out of this broadcast. Yes, there will be a tremendously increase of uh, 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 divine angels, yes, trafficking in and out of our lives, shifting the realm systematically, putting on the taxation, putting on the ever bondage, any demonic entity that will try to come into your realm after today, feeding them with the gospel of Jesus. Your realm will be a realm that is a defense 
offensive realm to the kingdom of darkness. When they come, they must know that this realm harbor no demonic trafficking. We have repented of the iniquity that was done in this realm. So this realm is not a secret zone for any iniquity. Spirit of darkness. This realm carry every mandate. This realm is in accordance to God's divine purpose. This realm that I know occupy is in synchronization with the divine system of protocol. This realm carry the true foundation. This realm is in advancing the welfare of the kingdom from my region. This realm is agreeing with what God has written in heaven so that when God passed the decree in heaven, it's been manifested in the earth. This realm is a facilitator of goodness. Come on. I'm going to release the good realm now. Just as we finish up with the bad realm. So anywhere the bad realm has taken you hostage, affecting your blood, affecting your bloodline, your genetic code, your DNA strand, your cellular programming, all the markers in your body has been altered by that satanic realm. I stand in the fiery presence of God to declare every organ of your body that has been held hostage. I feel God up in my sukuriabai. Organ of your body that you and I know and the Holy Ghost knows that has been under heavy attack. Because of these rams that came into your life, rams and vibration, rams and sequences, rams and frequencies that has come into your life attacking your cells attacking your dna attacking your muscles and your tissues attacking your brain attacking your heart i feel god holy spirit holy spirit mm. take the glory lord take the glory makashanda bahaya he don't de dan de dish kutura bandikasa in the bush because of the ram that has taken you hostage only when you get into the presence of god you can get a release but i'm here to tell you that you can create your home as a ram that god is ever invading you can create your home as a ram that angels are invading and the more angels you have around you, the less those devils will bother you. In the name of Jesus, there are parts of your body, there are part of your spirit, there are part of your soul that is under arrest by these wicked spirits that is under duress. We command their leaders to come to the court. Can we call them to the court? I'm going to call out the virus part of your body, your human anatomy that has been receiving a attack from these leaders from these rams i want to tell you that today the leaders are exposed the ram are exposed their plans and agenda is collapsing Rabba making it easier for the children of a light to receive their anointing their mantle their inheritance hallelujah to possess their possession in the earth realm i'm here to prophesy and legislate that when these Ram attack you. Everything that they stole from your purpose, stole from your health, stole from your, your, your position in life. It's going to be restored. You will find out that after this prior, you feel like your own human anatomy has received the bread of God. Oh yes, many of you were construct, you, many of you was restricted. The boa constructor came in and he was constructing you, taking you into his realm of restriction and stagnation. Some of you, it was not the power constructor, but it was the python. Speaking a lot of lies, telling you're not good enough. Hallelujah. Trying to take you in the realm. Some of you, it was some unfriendly friend that lies on you. Make you feel like, my God, all my labor in the kingdom was in vain. Trying to take you into the realms. But God said the realm is ex the realm is busted you shall receive your inheritance 
in the prophetic name of Jesus. Let me get this thing off my face. We are going into the release now of godly ram, godly equation. Some of you don't know that your ministry is stolen. You just have you just have the ox of the ministry, but you share the idea with somebody, and somebody is fighting you from your ram, from their ram. Hope that you will die prematurely so that they can get ready to live out what you tell them that you envision. Some of you don't understand that there's a society behind your attack. Some of you don't understand that there are four satanic timelines. Hallelujah. That has been programmed against you. Religious people, occulted people begin to speak in the atmosphere over your regions and territory, over your ministry, marriage, gifting and calling over your identity in Christ. And you have been taken captive in the realm of false demonic timelines and God wants you to be excised by the sword of the spirit from those demonic timelines so that the Lord can judge those timelines that they will be destroyed they will collapse and die in the prophetic name of Jesus the son of God so I want to pray the next prayer. Oh Lord my God, all the parts, the 79 parts of the human anatomy that has been taken captive, being sabotaged by all these demons and their cosmic re-engenerator and reinstator. No, my brothers and sisters, God just give me a word of knowledge. Many of you have been praying about a particular thing. I soon go back to the prayer. And you find out that when the prayer was prayed like for a week or so, you had no more attack by this entity that you're praying about, whatever it is. But all of a sudden, you start to see like there's a recurrent. That entity is called a cosmic regenerator or reinstator that when you pray and you don't pray the prayer that has to go to the genetic level, they often time want to reinstate the bondage, reinstate the attack. So you find out that I pray about this. We fast, the church lay hands off. So why is this thing coming back? A cosmic reinstator want to take you back in bondage in their arms. So what we need, we need their gates to be bombed up, their protocol to be bombed up, their devices, all their protocols that they're using against us. We need it to be bombed up with fire, with thunder. So I want to um, release the various part of our human anatomy now that has been incarcerated by these entity holy ghosts i'm gonna call them out father in the name of yeshua the messiah we're back in the king the court on kingdom agenda father we understand that there's some cosmic reinstator or regenerator Planetarian powers, Alebo Shata, power from the Kalabatic trees of the tree of life. We ask for the lion of the tribe of Judah to come right now, God. We identify all the territories in us that has been manipulated. Halebo Shanda Bahaya in in from this spirit of darkness. Father, all territory include our genetic cells, territories in our genetic markers, every type of DNA, strand, every type of bone marrow. We, Rabbi Shanda, want to highlight areas that the enemy is targeting in our physical body, the territories of our bodies, such as the respiratory system. God, any ram, holy bush, that they are attacking the respiratory system, the cardiovascular system, the digestive system, the renal system, the nervous system, the muscular skeleton system. System, the endocrine Rikabo Shanda system, oh God, the lymphatic, lymphatic immune system, all our sexual organ, the brain, every part of the brain, the optical lobe, the occipital lobe, all the different part of our brain, that they have programmed anything on it. 
that is taking us into the realm, whether it's vampiric structure, whether it's implants of darkness, all kind of manipulation, we begin to call out the brain, we begin to call out the art god, Rabba Shanda Bahaya, because of these things, our bodily system is not working in synchronization, I feel God, with your purpose. So tonight uh, we ask that everything and the realms uh, and entities that exist as uh, hallelujah, composite of who we are, that you will begin uh, to apprehend them now, God. Our brain is before you. Oh God, the prefrontal cortex, the frontal lobe, the pereal lobe, the occipital lobe, the brainstem, the corpus callosum, the HPA aces, our soul, the different implants are that are in us. God, we are calling on you. Come on, you mighty angel of the Lord. Rababo shakala barikata. Things that are here to attack our genetic cell, markers, our bone. Oh God, things that are projected from another realm. Oh God, they are attacking this very central part of our bodies. The energy signature, our DNA strand. They are attacking our blood pressure, our blood level. They are attacking the hormones. They are attacking everything in our genetic codes. Rebe Shadabahai. And we're acting for the release. I can feel the release already. Oh God, some of us, because of our gifting, we're taken in captivity where entities are fighting the full manifestation of the giftings. Abilities have been held hostage. Oh God, gifting has been held hostage. We cry for freedom in the prophetic name of Jesus. We ask right now, many of you are going to feel like a release. We ask, oh God, for an annulling of every curse, invocation, libation, initiation everything that was invoked upon these areas of the bodies everything that is invoked such as vampiric structures or cable wire chip demonic computers satanic lines everything that is projected from another realm enter the galactic realm enter Enter the extraterrestrial realm. Enter the interdimensional realm. Pull us out of wherever we are planted, wherever we are subdued. Enter the counterfeit galaxies and constellation. Enter any part in the universe that we are incarcerated. I call for dimensional deliverance. Deliverance of the mind. Deliverance of the soul. Deliverance of the 79 vital parts of the body. We come in a divine agreement. Hallelujah. We are walking in sync with what you are original plan yes God yes God yes God the Lord is telling me that angel are washing angel are washing some of the formulas that make you was polluted hallelujah you didn't born with high blood pressure the formula was contaminated and polluted ah you didn't born with these issues and ailments and affliction formulas and equation has been polluted I prophesied a genetic cleanse I prophesied a genetic alignment I pierced through the veil in the prophetic name of Jesus. I command and demand that heavenly investigation is carried out into our system. Come on, touch it, touch it, touch it. When God wanted to judge Solomon Gomorrah, he sent investigatory angel to find out if what he was hearing in the earth, in the, from the earth realm, from his realm, if it was so. He sent angel to investigate Gate, if the old cry was according to what he hear, I'm asking the Lord to send investigatory angel into your bodily system. I want to judge the spirit that is giving an injustice to your humanity. I feel the fire of God. Come on, somebody. Come on. Father, we ask in the court. 
hallelujah, that investigatory angels will be released in our bodily system. Come on, somebody. Release them in the brain. Release them in the, uh, the cardiovascular system, the brain system, the, the lymphatic system, glymphatic system, lymph node, all of the systems that is under attack. Rebo Shata. We ask for an investigation. Come on, somebody. When you go to a doctor, he cannot prescribe uh, any form of antibiotic or what you need to go for to go on unless a diagnostic review of what's happening to you has been made so it is in the physical so it is in the spiritual we need investigatory angels to enter into the 79 vital organ of our bodies and we need an internal evaluation and investigation so now that the angels are being released i'm releasing them in your in your body i'm releasing them in your geographical location wherever you are rakasata i am releasing these angels to do a thorough investigation now we ask for all the evidence hallelujah that has been acquired as a result of this hallelujah investigation to be submitted to the court of heaven by the shed blood of jesus we call for our high priest yahushua after the order of melchizedek to come to the forefront and now we're saying father we are sick in our bodies affliction high blood pressure heart attack strokes all kind of infiltration and so god because your word says uh, if we confess our sins you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness we understand that there are parasites that living in us we understand that there are all kind of ungodly entities attacking our dna attacking our genetics so now that the investigation is thoroughly done and the report has been submitted to the lord we ask that all the documents makabo shata kurobo that has been submitted will be nailed to the cross of Yahushua. Burn in the Holy Ghost fire. Burn in the Holy Ghost fire. Come on. Burn by fire. Burn by fire. We submit it to the blood. The finished work of the cross. We command and demand that all these documents be burned by fire. Burn by fire. Burn by the fire fire of the holy spirit nailed to the cross of yah Idobo Shadaba. And now we deed the territory occupied by these things to the Lord and ask that He will take the territory and rule these territories with a prophetic rod of iron in the name of Yahushua, Jesus, the anointed one. Uh, I would like to hear some testimony. Uh, I wish some of you could tell me that in my environment, I'm feeling a release for this exactly how I'm feeling. I am feeling a release because the rams that you were taken captive has been busted. So now you must come out of their confinement, out of their prison, out of any place that you were not born to operate. The time has come for you to exit that pit, Joseph. The time has come for you to exit that pit. The time for you has come for you to exit that bondage. The time has come. Come on, somebody. Say, I'm exiting all. I'm exiting the bondage. I'm exiting the prison. I'm exiting the pit. In the name of Jesus. Now, after we exit these things, we don't want to leave the place of vacant. We need a supernatural alignment. Come on. Angels are still expunging evil entities that have hidden themselves in us evil entities that are in themselves we are muting the voice of the enemy muting their voice muting their voice we're asking the lord to tear off every veil of secrecy everything that has caused these things to stay in alignment we are asking the lord to tear it off us am i in the right place tear it off us tear off the veil of secrecy tear off their spiritual garment tear off their cloaking device Tear it off, Father, in the name of 
Jesus, come. We have repented. Come on, only eight of you, I'm online, only eight of you um, share the video. You can do better than that. Come on, you can share the video. I need more of you to share the broadcast. I need more of you to like the broadcast and to share it. Share it in your group, share it on your page. Come on, go ahead and share this um, um, video in the name of Jesus. I'm watch watching you. Philomia, share the video. Andrea Taylor, share the video. We need all these things to be ripped off us. We rip off their croaking devices. Rip off every bondage, every garment of bondage. We command it to be dislodged from your internal and external person. Hallelujah. I am muting the voice of the enemy and tearing off their veil of secrecy of my body, of my life. I have a gift and my gift is to operate because my gift shall take me before important persons. Come on, can you share some of the videos? I know you must like the video. Come on. Uh, it's just eight of you just share. Go ahead and share the video. I've been on from um, 10 and I'm uh, you can do better than that. Share, like the video, show prophetess that what she's doing makes sense. And you are going to be accelerated in new room because you're tearing off the veil. Come on, tear off that veil of secrecy. Tear off that veil of witchcraft. Pop yourself loose from that realm. Her realms of glory killer. I lose myself. Come on. Realms of seeing good things but never getting it. Rabashata. And tell, tell yourself that I am receiving a new realm. No realm of dryness. No realm of unproductivity. No realm of un. Um, a stagnation, no realm of witchcraft, no realm of affliction, no glory killing realm is going to be able to subdue me. I will not stay in a realm of disgrace, no realm of poverty you can't keep me in your bad minded realm i am free as a matter of fact i call judgment and i issue judgment on every realm that is not lining up with the will of god for my life in the prophetic name of jesus the son of the living god now how do we release new realms we want new realms you know when i started the broadcast i my intro song was it's a new season so we cannot begin to embark upon a new season without the father the one that take us out of the new the old realm the ungodly realm with demonic wall restricting and constructing us in is the same god that's going to tear down the wall of division, going to smoke the enemy in his inner part, and it's going to give us a dominion in the new realm. Can we praise the Lord? Just begin to type it and receive in the new realm. And this realm is in synchronicity with the will of God for my life. I'm addressing every illegal realm. Their kingdom and their mandate over my life is over. All their artificial wall of suffering and segregation, depression and oppression is this, is collapsing in the prophetic name of Jesus and tearing down the wall. Look what Jesus did as a perfect example. When he died, the wall of partition was ripped in two. Hallelujah. There was no wall dividing us anymore. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. So I want to invoke now the, the new um, realm. And so I ask that the Lord will send forth his angels now to cleanse us from every satanic realms and their artificial walls and their demonic inheritance. And now we call on his name to be upon us in the new realm. I'm soon coming off. Uh, I just, I'm telling you, it's going to be just play this over and get the message down in your spirit. We speak that the angel of the living God will now rise up with a strong and mighty hands of God. We charge our realms now internally and externally with the fire of God. Come on, charge your realm with the fire. 
the fire of God, the glory of God, the halo of God, the archie of the living God, the anointing of God. We call forth the names of God in this realm. Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Jireh, El Enyon, the Most High God, Yuvewah A. We release his name, we release his name, we release his name. We release his name internally and externally. We release his name in our body, soul, and spirit. Come on, somebody. Begin to release the name of the Lord. Call all the name you know. Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Sikanu. Every aggressive grip of the diabolical realms and entity that held me in spiritual confusion in their demonic realm. We contend with the serpent. We contend with the python. We contend with the boa constrictor. We bind and cast them out of our realm. We bind and cast out the, 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 the scorpions. We bind and cast out interdimensional entity. We bind and cast them out. We want the capacity to carry the new realm. Lord, every one of them that has joined network to alter our destiny through these evil realms and dimension. We ask Holy Spirit for an activation of the new realm. Come on. We want this realm to be established. So remove everything that is contrary. We ask for a synergetical pull on the frequency of heaven. We pull on the frequency of heaven. We pull on the heavenly protocol. We pull on the heavenly system. We pull on the heavenly government. We pull on the heavenly koshata rabba sotora power, the glory of God, the anointing of God, the power of God. We begin to pull God on your divine gabal. We begin to pull on your virtue. Come on, Father. We ask that you will strip us of everything that is not of you. We pull on you, oh God. We pull for the glory. We pull for healing. We pull for deliverance. We lay all our efforts at the line of the tribe of Judah feet. We for the kingdom of our God has become the kingdom of our Lord. And the power of his Christ is reigning. We pull on the victory of the cross. We pull on the rule of Kodesh. We pull on life everlasting. We pull on healing victory. We pull on breakthrough. We pull on deliverance. We saturate our rams and dimension with the river of God, the glory of God, the star dust, the golden dust of God. We saturate our ram with joy and peace. We saturate our ram with the seventh spirit of God. We saturate our rams with the name of God. We call for an interface with the spirit of the most high God. In Jesus' prophetic name, I pray. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Come on, somebody is still experiencing the shift in the realm. The shift in the realm. The shift, come on, the shift in the realm. The shift in the realm. You cannot stay in this realm anymore. You have outgrown this realm. Makabo shatter. Physically and spiritually. Ha ha ha. Your God is taking over. In that spiritual realm that you're operating now, you're operating alongside the Ruach Odesh. You are understanding your functionality and authority as a kingdom agent, as a kingdom ambassador. This new realm will make you a problem solver to many things that is in the kingdom. You may be a little on inexperience at, at the beginning, but the Holy Spirit will begin to teach you. This new realm is syncopated with God, and now you can say of a true that distant is not a barrier. 
There's a place that God lives, and just because I've aligned myself with him, the Lord is surrounding me. I can feel the heavenly body surrounding me. I can feel the spirit of judgment surrounding me. I can feel the glory of God. For I was created to feel his glory, to partake in this glory. Am I talking to someone? Your realm has changed. So when you look at someone tomorrow and you say, hi, sister so-and-so, they say, wow, you look different. My realm has changed. My level has changed. Those things that used to bombard my realm, those things that used to come in and take me hostage, they have been casterized. They have fallen at the feet of Yahushua. And now, I am operating in a realm that is in synchronization with my Father. In the name of Jesus, I want to speak to just a few of you on tonight. In the name of Jesus, prophetically, let me try and get a song for the top of the hour. That is the song that I've been playing um, throughout the course of my time refreshing in the presence of the Lord. And the song is saying, it's a new season it's a new day. Let us take it from the top and we're going to sing it just a little. Mm -hmm. Where must change? Come on, somebody. It's a new It's like the fresh bread of God. 
Warosha Mama Kuria Bahaya. So I want to speak to just a few of you. Let me see who the first person I'm going to speak to. I'm going to speak to Camellia. The Lord said this was such a timing word for you because you have been bombarded by all kind of entity from all kind of regions. But the Lord is saying to tell you that you're coming out of your spirit your season of depression for this is even a rambusting prior that has affected you it has glued you to this and it's making sense to you the lord says everything you put your hand to do in this season will come with the unction to function because the enemy has tapped into you by those realms that you were experienced that you were even overwhelmed in terms of your ability to product productively do things you feel like you were suffocating you feel like something was holding you back the very thing that we were talking about tonight they were like rams that invaded your sphere your your your, your sphere you were feeling like God, I don't even know if this, I should continue. So now the Lord has shifted all of that. All the debris that came with those demonic realms are out of the way. Now you're getting a new realm and that's why it's important that when we go into a geographical location, we command our geographical location, our environment, our own church, whatever it is, to align with the realm of God. If we don't, we will always have entities invading in and out of our realm. Those things will depress, frustrate, and oppress us. So the Lord has released you to a new realm. The, the month of February is the month of decision making for you. There are some constructive decisions that you have to make and you must not procrastinate. The Lord said a double-minded man is unstable in his way. God says when I speak you don't need to wander. God says he will begin to traffic in the provision and show you the place that you ought to establish certain things that you're still pondering about. So what I'm seeing is that in the geographical location that you are, that you want to say okay this is conducive for me to do our own business come on can i prophesy our own business i can't just do my business from the home god says no god says that environment is literally suffocating your business ability and potential so what god is doing as the master planner is packing up all the resources that you need as you're making your investigation and you're taking inventory of your past failure and the inability to do certain things like flowing because you were just starting and stopping and there was no great growth or no great progress god is saying is giving you the resources because that's one of the things that stop you from going out. So I see that you're going to acquire a store where you're going to be doing a lot of trade. I release that anointing on you to trade with wisdom. You may say that your starting capital is not strong, but God is giving you exactly what you need in your trade. Hallelujah. It's not like you're going to be getting one, five, six, seven thing but there's a particular thing or a group of things that god is going to impress on you that you need to get these things that are going to be very very um, um good for you in terms of the release will be fast and you will get that money that you need along with the the, the rest that god is getting ready to do god says no it's not the time to slow down the enemy wants to say hallelujah slow down God says it's not slowing down time now. You have been sleeping like Jonah. Get up and put your hand to the plow and do not look back, says the father. Let me see who's the next person. God favor me, Miller. This is a time of transition for you, Kushataya. As your realm has been busted, it is also a season for you to collect stuff. So you're transiting out of the place of the norm into a place of supernatural release. So things will be eating you. People will be bombarding you, saying, "Um, this was on my mind from last year to do." for you but you know it's just the time some will even make vain excuses by saying nothing happened before the time and the season god says i have impressed upon them to bless you and you will not miss this moment 
So begin to say, you know what? I'm creating the capacity to collect. Because the Lord show me your spirit that you know how to give. But you need to sit back when it's time to receive. You need to apprehend all the giving just in those moments. And say, well, giving, you need to stop now because I'm in my season of harvest. I'm in my season of receiving. God says, everyone that come in contact with you will identify that your, chief, your, your season has changed because he has released that rem busting anointing on you to liberate you from demonic and cultic um, regions of oppression and depression, frustration, starting and stopping and not fulfilling hallelujah projects that mean so much to you. In the prophetic name of Jesus, God says the enemy will not wear you out because your season is now. And when Job sees a come for restoration, God allow everyone to play a significant role in the restoration of Job. This is your season of harvest. It's your season to collect stuff. Can I prophesy? Collect. A prophesy collect upon you. That means everything that you need to trade with God to make the space to receive what God has given you. I hear overflow. I hear an inflow. So there's two words that will work in parallel for you in this season. Woman of God, there is two words that will work in sync with you this season. Overflow and inflow. The inflow will be so heavy that you're going to have to call people to come and help you. Come and take this stuff. I need to get this junk out of my house. I need this out because I need space. Rakabo Shadabahai to receive what God is doing. God favor me, Miller. It's your overflow and inflow of good things. You will not see just bad things repeating itself in a cycle. But the rem busting anointing has come upon you. It's an overtake and it's bringing you in a season of release. I see one, two, three, four, five, six of you from the month of March go straight to the 27th of of, of, of November 2020. It's REM busting season. Why it's imperative that you understand what your REM busting season will bring because when you were denied, when you were sabotaged and delayed, uh, there were certain things that you know that God got it. You know that it was actually coming into your hand. But some strong storm came, some strong wind came and diverted it. Uh, and you get back into that mode of waiting for something that you know you had in your hand, something that was coming to you. So God says, I'm releasing the anointing and it's called REM busting anointing that the enemy will not able to truncate, suffocate, deny and sabotage what God is doing. So here are the people that will flow into this realm. My, my spiritual mother, apostolic um, 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 Apostle Azim Faisi, you are one of the main one that is coming into this REM best busting anointing because the Lord allow you to stay in that dimension and that REM for a time. And while you were dear and being processed by God, you have acquired a very deadly anointing. And I don't know if you know the depths of this anointing. This anointing is so severe that it's just literally tell the devil, give it to me. You're not going to make long speeches you're not gonna uh, 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 negotiate with the enemy God wants you to take it so in this ram busting anointing season people are going to remember you every list that your name was to be on woman of God that it was written off but was put back like maybe next time people are gonna volunteer to do things I'm hearing them saying in the realm of the spirit can I do this do you want me to do this? You need. Do you need me to help you with the packaging of your label um, and, and network that's going to take you to the next level? Do you need me to help you package you for TBN, RoboSanda, Kalabarusha, Daystar, or the WordNet? The Lord says, I've put a series of vision 
vision on you. Uh, and these visions will become a reality in this time. Uh, yes, I'm the God that speaks to dead bone uh, and cause them to rise even in Ezekiel time and dispensation. I was the one that brings sinners to those dry bones and cause an exceedingly great army to rise. Uh, I am causing the exceedingly great in you to rise. You will be a force to reckon with. You will have many baby ministry under you, people who are looking for the truth. And God said, I had to keep you in that place and watch you as I trust you with the ability not to compromise because I wanted your yea to be yea and your nay to be nay. And I found you a woman of integrity. I found you a woman of honor. And the script is about to flip because I am taking you among the elite. I am causing great men of influence and affluence not to overlook you but to see you Kushai. I'm giving you buildings. I'm giving you educational facilities. I am giving you educational facilities, says the Lord. Rabba Shoto Rabanda Kasiya. I have invested so much in you for the kingdom, but I've also invested business ideas in you, Kushai. But I'm going to use them like a merge with kingdom and business. You will be a facilitator of many hallelujah women that have been divorce and don't know how to find themselves. Uh, uh, they put everything in that marriage and they give it their best but everything was dead. Uh, I'm going to bring you as a lifeline to many women who even want to kill themselves. Uh, they will see things in you that immediately as they see it, they will begin to emulate it. Uh, streams of incomes are going to flow. Uh, God says 2020 is your year of radical expansion and no witch can stop it because you are walking under the ram busting anointing. This is an anointing that I rest upon my chosen. This is an anointing. He said an example of that anointing was King David. You see David was a king but he was in the dome. He was in the desert. David was a king but he needed some money. He needed food. David was a king and oh dear hallelujah the wife of Abigail, Nabal, 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 to insult the king. Rebebe Shadabaha. But because David walked under the rembusting anointing, when he turned his back, it was war. And Abigail saw that, you know what, I cannot afford for a disrespect to come to a dignity. So I am going to fetch up every vengeance that I have. And I'm going to go to the king. And I'm going to bow in obedience for forgiveness for the folly of my husband. Uh, there are some people that God is going to use to bless you, woman of God, uh, in this season. Uh, it will shut the mouth of those that are supposed to do it and don't want to do it because they think they're blessing you and not blessing God. <laughs> your season has changed. Welcome to the REM busting season where you bust REM and take the things that God says belong to you. In the prophetic name of Jesus, I am hearing, I'm circling it. House is not going to be an issue. God says, I'm blessing you. I'm blessing your children. I'm blessing the work of your hand. I'm blessing your health. I'm blessing you with more books. There's a book I hear in my spirit. Holy Ghost. I'm hearing banking in God's economy. You're going to speak so profoundly about the Queen of Sheba, the wealth of Solomon and Solomonic trade. God says, I'm giving you witty invention and supernatural ideas. God says, to tell you as of today the heaven is rent it is open for God has come down Holy Ghost as David requested him oh Lord come down and rent the heaven and show the enemy that I am your child I've not been compromising though the enemy eat me hard often time I wonder where's my God and because you did not compromise the element will give way the power of darkness will give way the rem busting anointing is upon you that you will go into ram and take things that people have been struggling for years to accomplish.
accomplished. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. The kishon of the boko sakuria. The zeal of God will perform it. I want to speak under the Bashanda to Apostle Ransford. Rambusting anointing is coming to settle your case. Ekebo shatada bakusa to boss a rem means your apostolic in apostolically invading a territory that held you bound because you waited on God and God has given you the anointing to take back what the enemy was restricting you from. God says in this rem busting time, season and structure will align to facilitate your needs. I am hearing. A new crown, a new hallelujah season is up on you. Don't be like the children of Israel who do not understood that their time for change has come. Jesus wept two times in the Bible. He wept at Lazarus' funeral service. He wept when Jerusalem did not understood that I am the Messiah. I come to change your time. I come to change your season. Uh, you have been on my, my clock. I know that Kronos and Kairos both be in meantime, but this is your God appointed time for heavenly invasion and heavenly visitation. When the angel visited the earth, when they came to solve Abraham, Abraham barren problem. Abraham was anointed, but he was barren. He did not have a child, but God sent the rambusters. They came into hallelujah, investigate a about Solomon Gomorrah, but they had a word for Prophet Abraham. Can I prophesy? They invaded the ram. They busted the constraint. They busted the restriction. It did not matter that Sarah, Sarah and Abraham was outside of the time zone of normal childbearing. But because our God is a rembuster, he said, nevertheless, I prophesy and legislate that around this time, the time of year, Sarah will receive and conceive and bring forth a child. Can I prophesy? The rembuster is here. Rabakusa, what is that thing that the Devil said you would not get. What is that thing that you need that means so much to you? Kushakata. Pick up the rambusting anointing and go back to the door that was closed and see what God do for you in the prophetic name of Jesus. Mm. I'm getting ready to come off. I want to prophesy to Velora Pumlis. Three houses. God is giving you also national and international. Oh, Rabasata. Get ready to become a landlady. Your hour has come. I see oil dripping all over you. Uh, be careful who touch you in this season. Be like Jesus. Say unto them that want to touch you uh, to infiltrate what God is doing and what God put on you. Say unto them, I have not a send it to my father you can talk but you don't have to touch me because I see people want to touch you to see if they can get what is on you off you so be very careful who is touching you because there's transfer there can be a transfer there can be something that take from you what you got and give you what they got a perfect analogy is with um, 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 Nahaman and Gehazi. Nahaman had leprosy, Gehazi had none. But the transfer came when the prophet was angry and said, you, you need to get this leprosy. And there was a transfer. Come on. So you don't need people to take nothing off you. Kushan Dada Bahaya. I want to speak to Beverly British. Beverly British, this is the time of, of harvest seed and harvest time for you. Um, I just see that God is just, before you release what you have in your hand, God is already, um, I'm giving you a ready-made harvest. He's extracting time out of it and he's giving you a ready-made harvest in this season. Beverly Crammers, walk in faith, avoid anything that will make you fearful in 2020. Rebo Shata Rabasanda, 
poverty is not your portion. The Lord and is upon you mightily to deliver you, but you must keep on acknowledging him as the only source of your deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus, Alison Reed, it's time to write book. All kind of books I see streaming in the ram. Books in leadership, books on marriage, books on family. Kushatalaba Sandaha. I hear the Lord say, New chapter has come. And it's like you were, you know, in Jamaica, we have a tree that is called the Shemi Maka tree. When you touch it, it just fall up his leaf. For a long time, you have been a voice out there, but no one is seeing you. No one see even a picture of you. But now, all your picture that is coming out, when I saw them, I just started laughing myself. I said, God, she's coming out of the rubbles. She's coming out of the pit. It is indeed your REM busting season when God is doing that new thing in you and all eyes will be all in. It will not be something that you have to explain. Many people will see it and they will come and ask your advice and how you went through this. What were some of the principles that you used? Give us some keys. Give us some strategy that I too can overcome in my season. It's indeed your REM busting season. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. The zeal of God will perform what he has spoken. Now I want to exit uh, I hope you get this message loud and clear. I'm still making an appeal for persons that like the broadcast to share it in your group, share it on your page. Makabo Sata, I write it loud and clear. I am in my REM busting season. So everything that constricts and restricts me, restricted me in previous time and previous years has been casterized, they have been eradicated from my life and my destiny. So now I'm walking in my REM busting season that everything that God has laid up for me in this season, I will attain it. I will possess my possession without any form of restriction. Another name we can call it is unhindered breakthrough, easy breakthrough. Things that you don't have to struggle so hard to attain, to obtain it. God bless you. This is the line of Judah prophetic ministry, a fire ministry. Yes, we love the Lord with all our heart and we believe that only when God come to do what he intended to do, then we will all have the victory in Jesus' name. We ascribe all glory and honor to the REM buster. Some people call him the protocol breaker. I call him the REM busting season, God, that break you out of one season and catapult you in another season. Whether it's it, it's on the wings of persecution like Joseph, <laughs> various things will take us into our new season. Sometimes people want to kill us and we have to run for our lives. There are various things that God will use when our time and our season has come for thee. Escape for thee new season. God bless you. Evan, smile at you. Providence Anne, a K from the line of Judah, on behalf of me and all of my ministerial team here, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas, a productive 2020. Shalom. Until next time, God bless you.